It's week 10 of the National Football League, and we've got the Panthers, speedy running back. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Panthers and the Bears on Thursday night. Bit of a sloppy track here at Soldier Field. Still getting some of the wraparound rain bands of a low-pressure system that's hovered over Chicago the last couple of days. Tonight, it's on to Week 10 already. Hard to believe, and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Carolina Panthers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a four-time Super Bowl champion elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame back in the year 2000. This is Joe Montana. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game, bottom line. Main and nothing but daylight ahead. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. He'll drop to throw, and that's incomplete. He was looking for Jeff Smith there, and that'll bring up second down. You look at this Bears defense. They are number two in the NFL against the run right now, Charles. They've established themselves pretty well throughout this season. But boy, what a competitive group of people. They do not like that ranking they have now because they think that they're better, and they're out to prove it again in this game. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They're going to look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Looking to throw. They shake. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. So here are the Bears banked up to start their initial drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. 4-4, four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, 4-4 four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. He takes it to the 15. A nice display of power. And it gives him a nice pickup. 
On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. 16 carries, 91 yards, and a touchdown. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, he knows he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll try to run the option here. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38-yard line, second and nine. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery and a touchdown for the Panthers. Marr on for the extra point. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught. Allen Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's the option. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And that went to the right side and incomplete. You look at this Carolina defense. They were excellent a week ago in that victory over the Colts. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession, as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a throw here, hauled in. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down now, McAfee. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. It looks like, yes, it is. Six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. They'll keep it on the ground. McAfee, and he will have the Bears first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. He'll look to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up a throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a... And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. Santos' kick is up and through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD, and it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Fights through, and now a crease. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. On the tackle, Charles Tillman. Joe Montana on second down. His throw incomplete. Quick hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Panthers are able to widen their advantage. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. In motion left is Jeffrey. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a handoff up the middle. McAfee. And this will be a Bears first down as he gets this up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. That'll be caught by James. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw here. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Lawrence Taylor able to record his fifth sack of the season. They'll put Jeffrey here in motion left. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 17. They'll look to throw here. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. So on fourth down, on is the punter Pat O'Donnell to kick it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now a carry for Sanders. 
And down he'll go at the 25. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 36. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. The kick by Maher is good. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And how about that for just running out the clock? Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And incomplete on the deep ball. So we pass the halfway point of the season and now pass the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he fires one incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now back to throw, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first down, McAfee. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Second and nine. They'll drop to throw. And this one too low. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Out of the gun now on third down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. 
They go play action here on first down. That is incomplete. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Throw left side complete to Sharp. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Back to throw. That is caught. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They'll look to throw again. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Back to throw again. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Maher is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Second down and six now. Up the middle they go. McAfee. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go to And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the play. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us, but I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff up the middle. McAfee, and he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. On third down, McAfee, and he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Oh, fighting off the defender. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten.
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Here's third and three. He'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll look to throw. That's complete to Sharp. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. Back now at Soldier Field. Two yards to go, second down. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. The offense on third down tonight. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. On the return, Hester. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bears take over. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. They're going to look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He'll drop to throw. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he's brought down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Back to throw here. Fighting through, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. They'll set up a throw. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take over at their own 41. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. A handoff. McCaffrey running right. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. A give running left. It's Sanders, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. This one from 46 yards out. Maher able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but 
They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Second and five. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They'll set up to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back to throw now on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. They'll look to throw here. And that one too wide and incomplete. Second and 10. They'll drop to throw. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Out of the gun now on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. They'll look to throw again. That's complete to Robinson. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now a timeout called for by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Going for the deep ball. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. The Hall of Famer Ronnie Lott picks it. And the Panthers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And really, it looked at times like they just had this one in cruise control out there. Yeah, they deserve a ton of credit because you and I both know, heck, they knew. But this is a tough place to play. Overcame that with ease, robbed home with an easy win. And here's the best part for them. It would be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't they? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part of it. Of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This, this one did any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early on. So for the Panthers, the win gets them back over five.